Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Lawyer Plays The Longest Journey with me, Ryan, the Gaming Lawyer. Uh, if you recall, we have the somewhat re like repetitive running over the same ground nature of the game, while it was still interesting, uh, has given way to wide open vistas and magnificent locales, and the story has been moving forward. Uh, at present, we are, we are out in the wilderness, beyond the forest, beyond the swamp. We're outside the tower of the mage guy. Let me see. We had a... Uh, I want to say we missed... I might have missed some... Uh, some entries at the end of the last one. Okay, I think... Did I miss two of them? Okay, I got the first one. Okay, I did that one. Tuesday afternoon, August 1st, having spent most of the day traversing a horrid swamp filled with foul odors, hungry tentacled thingies, and a ton of sticky stuff, I finally arrive at the foot of Roper Clack's castle in a late afternoon. That's the alchemist who is, uh, uses evil magic to, to uh, turn off the wind. <laughs> uh, the guy's got, like, the most amazing mansion, and it levitates too. If it weren't for this petrified guy, Lorhan, it would just fly off into the clouds. So Lorhan tells me that Roper Clax has trapped a lot of people in his castle, and he keeps their souls in a so-called soul stone. Very original, typical evil magic guy stuff. If I manage to break this soul stone, everybody will be turned back into so soft and flexible humans, or whatever they were to begin with. Again, with the saving people thing. Is this going to be a habit or what? All right. So actually, that's, that's a good summary of sort of what's going on. And of course, we need the wind back so that the, uh, so we can catch a ride to continue our quest. We're, we're stuck. We were stuck in the city without a way to, to travel because none of the ships could leave because the wind, this dude, it's all in the wind. So we got this statue guy to open up the, uh, the little step ladder into the, into the castle and we're going in. That's what's happening now. We're gonna do that right now. Oh lord. A labyrinth, great. I so love these things. Um. Jump! Jump into the abyss! Hmm? Who is that? Wait, don't tell me. Evil wizard, they all sound like Richard III on crack. <laughs> he did. Ah! He does sound like a typical evil wizard. I like the music in here. It's a little Tim Burton. Uh, gargoyle? Oh, just looking at the gargoyle. He's got his hand out like he's begging. Oh lord, what does he want? He probably wants a thing. Um, you want some candy? Here. No. Do you want some money? I, I, ooh. He likes money. <gasps> I made this thing happen. Bah, I made this thing happen, guys. <laughs> what is this flaming hand? Did I talk to it? I blow it out. No, you know what? Uh, I blow just blow out both of them. And now those lit up. And is that a little face down there I'm seeing? All right, I have a feeling I'm gonna be repeating this process. Let's see, there's an hourglass. That gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. Can I do something with that? Oh, oh, but it's still on a timer, I bet. You don't say. All right. Well, isn't there something over here I could do? Oops. What? Is that a pause button? So I need to get up there. Is there something I could do to make the... Uh... I don't think I can go anywhere else except 
up those stairs. So maybe I just didn't hit it fast enough. And then I'll run there. Go, 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 April, go, April. Run. Run, April, run. I made it. Wow. Hey, I wouldn't think... I'm making progress. I wouldn't think he'd be so happy about that. Uh, door. Looks like a wall, it's though. It's a stone door. Can I open it? Statues. I go up into the mist. That's ominous. Who's knocking? Alright, I don't think there's anything I can do with this. Oops. Mm, I don't think I can... Will a uh, crow do anything at this point? I guess he's not around. I should try again later. I can't get over that door. Hourglass? Okay, hourglass is down below, though. I don't want to go... Okay, I think I'll... Mirror. Oh, it's a mirror. And there's a parchment. It's a mirror door. So I look different in that mirror. Darker, scowling, scarred. Ooh, mysterious. Must be the light. Mysterious. What is this parchment? Oh crap! Whoa! Talk about hissy fit. Evil Mirror Universe April sure got some anger stored up. Guess she doesn't want me to get that parchment. Wow. That made me jump a little bit. That was actually creepy. Let's see, do I have anything? I, maybe get the bird? Now now will you come, Crow? And pick up this. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure my I guess he's not around. I should try again. Later. I'm sure my evil doppelganger won't kill you. Um I'm not really seeing anything here that would Yeah. See, see if there's something I could reach out and pull it down with, but it's a rolled up parchment. It's like that Star Trek episode with the Mirror Universe Spock. Yeah. It almost looks like a Mirror Universe me. That's awesome. The Spock reference. I approve. Is there anything? Can I th put, show my picture to the mirror and screw it up? Nope. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. Maybe, well, the gargoyle liked money. Maybe, maybe my, nope, I can't bribe my evil self. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to have to go up these steps because I don't think there's anything I can do with that door. And if I can't go up these steps, I don't know what's going to happen next. Ouch! God, this is just a painting oh, of a Lord. staircase. Not fair. Now I understand how Wily e. Coyote felt. That damn bird. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's hilarious. It's a stone door. All right. Well, now we are out of options. I can't use this to do anything, can I? Uh, no. I still can't. I. Uh, now will he come? Now that I'm stuck. I don't even know if I guess he, he's not around. He can get in here because I'm inside the tower now. Well, he maybe he could come in through a window. I don't know. Can I run across this little jumpy thing? I can't flip that from here. <sighs> I'm feeling like maybe I'm stuck at this point. Okay, because that looks like a door I could open if I could get to it. Hourglass? Okay, maybe I'm missing something. Were there any new uh, diary entries that I missed? Hints? Hints? Nope. Well. Uh... There may be some editing ahead. <laughs> Wait, this isn't like an EMSer thing, huh? 
because the posts are here, but then I can walk across there. Uh, that gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. All that does is turn that up. Huh. Can I play a music for the mirror? No. Use a sticky candy on something? Did I ever use that calculator for anything? <laughs> uh, fake. Organic leaf and bizarro mirror? Nope. Hmm. It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me in Florence Park. Marcus took it about a month ago before it got real hot. I don't think I've got anything. I don't know what I would use that for. Let me try it. Maybe I'll just try it again. Let's see. It's nah, I don't trust my mirror image. She's a bad girl. Yeah, she is. Oh my gosh. You send. Can we get evil officer involved? And that's. This is just a painting of a staircase. Well. Maybe you're an artist, right? Maybe you can make it real. Hmm. The watch is ticking. Um. All right, I'm. I gotta be missing something. There's something in the environment. Oops. Wait here. Wait. That's where I came in. This door. I. Oh my gosh! Was that all it was? I thought I approached it before. Maybe I just looked at it. What's oh, another hourglass? I'm gonna guess that that makes connects this somehow. So I'm gonna get ready to run over there. Here we go. Go go go. make it yay okay that didn't take too long <laughs> all right that might not even require any editing although we'll see uh oh didn't like the balance um is there more That's one stony face is this a, just another angle of where I just was? I think this is the platform I was just up on. That's where I first came in. And this was something I was seeing down below. That's one stony face. Oh, wait, he likes money. The gargoyles are... They like... Oops. They like money. No, the last ones did. Maybe... That's one stony face. It is a stony face, April. That is an astute observation. Maybe this gargoyle likes candy. No. Maybe this gargoyle likes music. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Yeah. Only for Crow, that music, apparently. What else might... Maybe this gargoyle would like synthetic leaf. No. That's one stony face. Um... I can't... I need to blow those out, huh? Can I shoot air through the... <laughs> my flute up at that? Uh... How can I blow those out? How can I blow... Well, it's not even letting me look at that, but... That's one stony face. That is a stony face, yeah. That's one stony face. It is a stony face, April. Alright, well... I feel like... Maybe it would like my ring. I feel like it won't... I guess I'll... You know what? I'm feeling desperate. I'm just gonna offer... Very quickly attempt to offer everything to the gargoyle. Uh, no. You wanna watch? It's nice. You want a thumbtack? 
It's a good. It's a good thumbtack. You like it, I promise. Did I offer it the sticky candy? No. Maybe. You know what? Maybe this one takes plastic. <laughs> no. Um. No. But I think I'm stuck up. I'm stuck here now, aren't I? What? How the heck did I end up here? I didn't walk. Oh, forget it. Magic again. Nah, nah, nah. You lose, you die. So wait, what is this? Can I undo what I did somehow? Disappointed grunt. So what happened? Will this just take me back outside now, or will I go back to where can't. I can't? The door's been blocked. Oh. Lorhan must have turned back into solid rock. Oh. That gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. Alright. Then I'll run back up here. I think. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Run! Run! I hear water. <laughs> Wait, what's this now? That door's got an hourglass sticking out of it. Alright, there's the hourglass. Uh... Maybe I can try and grab this while the hourglass is going. Nah, I don't trust my mirror image. Try to go up here while the... This is just a painting of a staircase. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, back across there. All right. Balance be cast. And here we are again. Here we are again. That's one stony face. He's not hungry. He has the one sticky candy. Wait, what is this? Uh, one coin left? I thought, <laughs> I get. I was always wondering if I could run out. It's looking like maybe I can. Um. That's one stony face. Wow. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. All right, I'm stuck. This place is confusing. <laughs> no can do, it's blocked. So wait, what does that do? So I left these lit? I have no idea. What was that? Inventory? Oh. Salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Oh. 
Run, April, run! Alright. Pepper. Salt. Okay. Can I use, uh, pepper on anything? No? Anything here that I have that can use pepper? No. No salt. Salt. No. Alright. Get off. Maybe the gargoyle downstairs I can use that on. Yeah, I know. Maniacal giggle. Balance be cursed! Balance be cursed! Alright, let's see if the gargoyle likes salt and pepper. Maybe it does. <laughs> uh, make it make it sneeze. There we go! Sneeze, so, gargoyle. <laughs> He's gonna sneeze. Oh, wait, he almost. Oh. Bells. Oh, I am so, I am so clever, right? Wait a minute. So Big, certainly, but I can't see anything through it. It's like there's a thick fog outside obscuring everything. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Fireplace? Say whatever you want about Roper Clax, he certainly knows how to keep a big fire. Oh, wait, are those human bones down there? Best not to ask. Let's see, and then there's, uh, what's up there, candles? Evil alchemist or not, at least he's made some effort to make the place look good. Maybe this guy isn't so bad after all. He's just, he's got a great sense of humor, he laughs a lot. Maybe he's a good guy. Finally! Oh. <laughs> I was beginning to think you would never make it through my labyrinth. Welcome to my humble home. Do you like it? I had it built according to my own specifications by the most skilled architects of Arcadia. They have since become a permanent and quite oh, no. attractive fixture of their own building, of course. Roper Clax. Oh! But I forget my manners. I am, as I am sure you already know, Roper Clax. And you would be? Um. Should I? Should I be polite? Yeah. Why not? April Ryan, pleased to meet you, sir. Oh. But the kitten has manners. How precious! How very precious! I am tempted to not turn you into stone. You would make a spirited wife and mother to my mm -hmm. demonic children. Mm -hmm. Great but with no, it will be more fun to destroy. Oh come on! Uh, well maybe he's like that stereotypical James Bond villain, where he'll tell me everything. Why did you trap the wind? Why does the wolf eat the sheep? I don't think you answered my question. Because I can, little girl. Because I can. And because of who I am. Because I am hungry. And because the time is right. I think you did it because you're insecure and you have to show off your petty magic to the world. Oh. Shut your pretty little mouth. I will devour you. I will... <clears throat> but we must not lose our self-control, must we? No, we must not. Well. Why did you turn them into stone? Didn't I... Wait. No, I didn't ask Why you did you turn those people into stone? Questions, questions, questions! I do not need to explain myself to you, little bastard child! 
What? Do you know who your parents are? No, of course not. What? Too stupid! Her real What? Someone was talking about her real what parents. What do you know about my parents? Suffer the little children. Oh, how I love that phrase. It is my life's philosophy. I like suffering, especially the suffering of innocent children. Their screams are so pretty. Their tears so salty. You like salt? I have salt. You're a real shit, Clax. You tell him, April. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> a shit. Double those reboundies. Du whatever. Okay. Um, I need to... Alright, you know what, I'm gonna, maybe I can save my game. I'm afraid of, there's gonna be a fail state ahead. Gotta go, see you later. Not so uh -oh. quick. You are not leaving here, ever. The way out is blocked. Oh. You did not think I was oblivious to what my gatekeeper was doing, did you? I know everything. I let you into my castle, dear little thing. Uh, uh, um. Um. See? I could scour your flesh off your bones in a second, little girl. Now, do you think you could defeat me? Um. I'll be curious. How did you do that? Alchemy, little girl, the most powerful magic. It was a spell of my own creation. I knocked it together only last night. Very impressive. Uh, how about a proper challenge? Maybe, maybe we can play checkers. How about a proper challenge? A proper... <clears throat> what, what do you mean by a proper challenge? A riddle game. I can't defeat you with magic. I'm not a wizard. Wizards? Frauds! The lot of them! The only real magic is the magic of... But of course, you cannot defeat me with magic. That is why I will win. What's so great about beating me with magic? That's not a challenge. Mm -hmm. That's a walkover. Yeah. If we even the odds out a bit, you'll have more fun and satisfaction from turning me into stone later. Oh, clever girl. You are trying to trick me. I know that. But you intrigue me, little girl. Go on, then. Issue a challenge worthy of my powers. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, can I save now? <laughs> uh, they're gonna. Yes. Okay, just in case something crazy happens. Um, I'm gonna give you the salt challenge. Wait, do I not have the salt anymore? Do I have a challenge? What? Do I just talk to him? It's Roper Clax, your basic evil wizard and bad dresser. I want a game of hopscotch, tic tac toe, a spelling bee, guess my weight, recite a monologue from Shakespeare's a cooking contest. Hopscotch. I challenge you <laughs> to a game of hopscotch. Do not underestimate me, little girl. Oh no. I was young once too, believe it or not. And I was the neighborhood champion in hopscotch three years running. Wow. Um, okay. Let's rock and roll. We're gonna do <laughs> We're doing hopscotch. <laughs> Oh no. I can't believe we're actually. Would he have done any of the challenges? <laughs> oh, he's, he's good. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wow. He's got Fine, the. Fine, you win. Wait, don't I get to try? Um. Lord. Spelling bee. 
Wait, what the- what? How come I didn't get a chance? I challenge you to a spelling bee. Ha! Spelling. My secret peril. All right. <clears throat> you begin. Give it to me. Um, sure. Okay. Um, spell? Bureaucracy. That's a good one. Bureaucracy, as in a body of non-elective government officials, bureaucracy, B-U-R-E-A-U-C-R-A-C-Y, bureaucracy. Now it's your turn. Spell... Anzebequakalia. Answer what? That's not a real word. Wait, I could just see the spelling. <laughs> it is... It is a terminology often used in the study of the black art of alchemy. Now spell it. Oh, now it's gone. A N S Oh, forget it. Okay, you know what? We're over 30 minutes. I don't think I'm going to have to carve too much out of this episode. So it's probably a good time to, uh, to take a break. And call it an episode. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me. Uh, next time we will figure out how we can defeat the, the vile Roper Clacks. And until then, I hope everyone is doing well. And take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>